I took the effort to put this light there and put it on orange because I'm wearing orange. You can't even see it. You have to be smaller. Some pills. Yeah. So much better. Wearing my Cheetos pants. <laughs> Still can't see it. <coughs> Trash. Hello everyone. Oh, this is such an ASMR move. It is literally 40 degrees in here. Not Fahrenheit, Celsius. I don't know which one would be worse. <laughs> we have a heat wave in Germany. I am sweating. You know, I'm that kind of person that has to sleep with a fan. I mean like the, <laughs> the rotating one. <laughs> So now that I'm filming a video and I had to turn it off, dying completely, but what has to be done has to be done. I just uploaded a two hour video. I don't know if you've seen it. I get it, it's like a long video, but you can watch it in sections. She basically uh, sucked the life out of me, which means today we're just gonna be a bit more chill, doing what we could do best on this channel, which is testing stuff I found on TikTok. I actually haven't done a video like this in five years, but the list is long. <laughs> it is mostly products, like viral food products, stuff to eat that I found. And I bought some of this stuff and it's here now together with me. By the way, guys, I've been receiving some messages wondering why I'm not posting food videos anymore. And to be honest with you, I didn't even notice. It's like super not on purpose. So don't worry, I'm planning on food videos now. I mean, this is a food video. <laughs> Time for some food. So the first thing I found is freeze-dried candy by Ashley. She's actually making a lot of cool food videos on TikTok. Check her out if you don't know her because she is adorable. And yeah, we're gonna try some freeze-dried treats from Sweetie Treaty. Nothing is an ad in this video. I just bought everything on my own expense. So, I mean, do I even have to explain what this is? It's literally just candy that is freeze-dried. I don't really know what to expect because it can be like really good. Does, is it gonna change the taste of the candies? Is it gonna taste exactly the same just with a different texture? I don't know. Let me say that it looked very, very intriguing on Ashley's account because it was all so crunchy. You can order this on Etsy. It's still like a very indie brand. <laughs> I got four packages. They have suffered a little bit. So let's just go through them one by one. <laughs> Okay, let's start with the freeze-dried gummy worms. They are huge as fuck. Why are they so big? How do you even freeze dry? Isn't it like a super, super intense coldness? Wait, what's the opposite of heat? Freezeness. Oh, it smells like gummy worms. I don't like gummy worms. That's the thing. I usually hate <laughs> stuff like this, like this gummy kind of stuff. But I mean, this has nothing to do with it anymore. I just don't like the consistency. I mean, maybe I also don't like the taste. <laughs> Let's just try it, huh? Ooh, this looks cool. Crunch warning <laughs> for everyone out there. Ooh, I think this could be great ASMR. <gasps> mm. Oh, wait. Mm. Oh, <laughs> it gets so chewy and sticky at the end. That is some interesting shit right there. Why is it Why so, is so flavorful? flavorful? This tastes exactly like gummy worms, just a bit more intense and obviously a completely different texture and consistency. My saliva is coming. <laughs> saliva. Intense. I want to try a big one. <laughs> Although I have to say, after the second one, I'm kind of done. Oh, this is so sweet. Skittles. <laughs> No, this is not Skittles. It's actually watermelon taffies. I thought I ordered Skittles, but apparently I ordered freeze-dried Skittles, smoothie freeze-dried, Jolly Rancher freeze-dried, taffy freeze-dried, high chew freeze-dried, candy freeze-dried, nerds. It was obvious, but I thought it was Skittles. <laughs> That Loki tastes like washing powder, like the stuff you put in the washing machine. How can they taste so different? This one melts in your mouth. You would think that this washing machine powder might taste bad, but it tastes like washing powder smells. But you have to have in mind, it's gonna be way sweeter than normally. Fruit roll-ups. <laughs> I mean, this probably looks the most like its original form. 
mean it's not bad it's just a bit boring it tastes exactly like fruit roll up and i like fruit roll ups that sound you hear that's my teeth sticking together because this is so sticky I'm giving me a bit of an anxiety that one was the worst. And now, Laffy Taffies. I don't even know what Laffy Taffies are. I mean, I googled it, but I've never had the original ones. She is. I didn't know the flavor was frosty root beer float. It's giving a bit caramel, but also perfume. Oh, I need water. Wow, that was sweet as fuck. I'll give some to Vincent. Let's go on a journey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eat it! <laughs> das ist Watermelon! Oh. Oh ich wusste nicht, dass das Watermelon ist, wirklich. Für mich hat es nur noch Waschmittel geschmeckt. Fun. That is very sweet, right? Very, but also a little sour. I like sour. Now try your Lucky Taffy. Look at his little legs! That's like this is cinnamon for me. Cinnamon? I thought it's caramel. Huh? Vincent says it tastes like this. Well, I have to say it is a very, very interesting sensation to try these sweets, but I somehow have a headache now because this was all so incredibly sweet. Let's get to our next one. So the next one we're gonna try is Ichiran Ramen. Hakata style thin straight noodles. Guys, this is actually really expensive for instant ramen. I think this was like 40 dollars? This is really popular on TikTok. I've seen it numerous times because people said it's one of the most expensive ramen ever, maybe even the most expensive. But people also said that it is one of the best ramen ever. So, I mean, I hope that price pays off. Well, I saw it a year ago of somebody saying it's the most expensive ramen and now I saw videos of them saying it's one of the best tasting ramen. There's five in there, so maybe it's not that expensive. We're gonna try this now. This is our dinner, perfect for hot weather. So this is what it looks like. It looks very high quality. And as I said, it's five packages basically. We got the soup package, which is also soupy. And here's the spicy stuff. This is 450. 50 milliliters of water. And here's our noodles. This is kind of hard to do with one hand. <laughs> oh, that's triggering. And we're gonna boil them for about only two minutes, I think, because they're very, very thin. Two minutes. Okay, two minutes have passed. I turned off the heat and now you're gonna add the soup. Let's hope for the best. It smells good. It's done! Lousy! We're gonna put some eggs, oh. <laughs> green onion, and also a little bit of mice. Uh, corn. <laughs> so we have the spicy powder, and apparently it's very spicy, so I'm not gonna add too much. Sesame seeds. For the vibes. And there we go! Here's my noodles. Oh my god, it looks so yummy! Let's eat! <gasps> it almost fell out of my hands. I'm excited. Ah, my dude. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Guys, that tastes so good. The broth? Sorry, I can't talk. I'm busy eating. <laughs> this tastes like ramen you would get at a ramen place. I'm not joking. This legit tastes just like high quality restaurant ramen. It's so salty and rich and garlicky and the spice is perfect. Just like a very soft spiciness. Guys, you could literally serve this as it is <laughs> and just tell everyone you make the best ramen ever. <laughs> the noodles also, I mean, I feel like with the noodles, you do taste that it's not freshly made noodles, obviously, <laughs> but they're still very good. Wow, guys, I'm gonna finish this and make another one after. Mm. Are you still here? I'm just gonna eat this up. You can skip to the next one. I mean, don't skip. I'm gonna skip for you. Just stay where you are. Guys, that was so unexpectedly good. 
Good. Why did I say that? <laughs> okay, let's get to our next one. I think it's time for something sweet again. I have kind of balanced out my sodium sugar level now. So I need more sugar. So I can then balance out the sugar again. Next, we're gonna try this, which is called Kiki's Crack, Crack with a K. And it's like a honeycomb based candy with chocolate infused. I honestly don't really know what that means. <laughs> but all I saw is that it really makes an impeccable crunch and I'm just a crunchy bitch. But I'm really excited about this one because it's like more chocolatey and I'm, I'm done with like the sugary gummy kind of stuff. I want chocolate, I want I accidentally ordered a lot. <laughs> it's been shipped from overseas, I think, or from the UK. I'm not quite sure right now. I immediately put it into the fridge and I think it's good. I want to get into the truck. Oh, I got one for free. What is that? I didn't order this. Cool. I ordered a set with many flavors. I'm going to try the OG crack. Makes sense. I don't even know what is that flavor. It doesn't say. It just says it's the OG crack. Ooh, that looks really cool. Mmm. Mmm. It basically tastes like caramel with chocolate. It's really, really good, but this one, I wouldn't say it's like something special. It just tastes like a chocolate which has a certain type of flavor, like a caramel chocolate bar. So it didn't blow me away, but it's definitely very delicious. I mean, the good thing is I can just close it and then eat it another time. I feel like I want to try birthday cake. It's not my birthday, but it will be in five months. This is what it looks like. That one is crunchy. Crunchy is ein Vater. What is that? Is that like sugar? Is that honey? Is that caramel? I think that's caramel, right? This one is really good. I mean, I do have like four more of these single flavors, but I think they're all eventually gonna be the same. So I'm not gonna try every one of them now, but I do wanna try this extra package that I got, which is taro flavor. I don't know if you've ever tried taro, but it's like some type of root. I'm kind of obsessed with taro. Like every Thing dessert taro wise and I think these are like limited edition I think it's like just for this month or something so I really had to get this let me try it <laughs> look at it it's so cute it looks like my hair it tastes so much like taro I so good. Mm. Sugar shock. <laughs> it's melting in my fingers right as I speak. Oh, I'm a little bit sick though. Okay, Kiki, these are really dope. But obviously you will have to like sweet stuff in order to like this. If, if you're just like, oh, I don't like it if it's too sweet. I don't like too much sugar. This is definitely not for you. The taro was so spot on and yummy. Oh, I have so much more to try though, but... That's so much. Guys, let me know if you want me to try out more. Then I might do it on TikTok maybe. For this video, I am, my sugar level is up here. I need salty again. <laughs> Let's get to the next one. <laughs> Guys, this one, you have sent me so many times, especially on Instagram. The Hai Di Lao Tomato Beef Instant Hot Pot. Or actually also the Spicy Beef Instant Hot Pot. Both of these have been going around a lot on TikTok and Instagram. Instagram, and apparently it's just a really good instant hot pot. I've had instant hot pot before. I bought one for my eating only instant ramen for a seven days trade video. It was not that good, but this one apparently is really good. Like people love it. It tastes very high quality, as high quality as you can get with instant stuff. But honestly, I am so full right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it away for tomorrow Naomi because she's gonna try this hot pot tomorrow when she's hungry again so she can really really enjoy it. This is our famous self-heating beef hot pot to make a flavor. Ooh. I have made a hot pot before in my life and I know that I did it wrong. So let's see if I can do it right this time. <laughs> Bean vermicelli. Beef. Actual beef. Not dried beef. Oh look, you even get like a spoon and stuff. Pickled vegetables. There's so much in there. Tomato seasoning. And this is the heating pad. First the noodles. Cute. The vegetables. They feel wet. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> they are wet. Beef. Oh, okay. I have never ever in my life seen this kind of beef in an instant ramen situation. <laughs> oh, it looks like cat 
ketchup. I'm gonna add water in here. Now we're supposed to fill some water in here, but only a little bit. This is the maximum water you should have in there, just like a tiny little bit. Now you're gonna put this in there. And now you're just supposed to put this on there. You can hear it. Oh God, I need to cover it. Ah. Ah. Wow. What? <laughs> it is boiling to the gods. And now we just wait 15 minutes, I think. It is very hot. Let's open her up. <gasps> oh, now you're supposed to just stir it. Mmm, the noodles look really delicious. We got some mushrooms. We got some lotus root. Obviously the noodles. There's the beef. I do not trust the beef. <laughs> oh, look, it's a potato too. It does taste like tomato. <laughs> By the way, I'm not using cutlery they gave me. I'm gonna save this for when I'm on the travel, on the go. Let me try the broth. Actually, I think it could be a bit hotter. It's like warm, but not super hot. Let me try a potato because the last hot pot that I've tried, the vegetables were still very raw and very crunchy. So let's see if that worked. But not as bad as the old one that I made. Crunchy. I can't find the meat. <laughs> Looks chewy. That's good. Eh? Eh? It was the best thing I've tried in this pot. I've got another small piece. Eh? It's really good. The broth is nice. It's, it's really not spicy at all. Ah, I found more meat. I mean, it does have this one flavor note in there that tastes like plastic. It's very subtle. It's not like too bothering, but it is there. Kind of like tomato soup, just a bit more oily. This is edible. I wouldn't buy this again. Maybe when I'm camping, but I'm never camping. So I wouldn't buy this again. <laughs> I think this would be great if you like go on festivals. Other than that, I don't see a purpose in this. But the noodles and the meat and the broth, thumbs up. Let's get to our last TikTok. Okay, this is not a product. I'm breaking the rules of my own video. I have found this one video, which drove me crazy, gave me nightmares, showed me my sleep paralysis demon. I am talking about feta pasta with strawberries instead of tomatoes. Even speaking it out of, out my, of my, mouth. my mouth. And I wish I could already defend and be like guys wait wait just watch I don't think this is gonna be good but I have to say the person in the video said that it was really good I still don't know she was trolling until this day we're gonna try it out now so let's go into the kitchen and make some feta pasta oh. <gasps> I have sliced my strawberries they're right here this is just the preparation I had to make for this very special recipe let's carry on it's not gonna be complicated I swear it's gonna be very easy I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on there to make them nice and juicy I already love this combo then you want to add some balsamic white vinegar just a little bit black pepper and some kosher salt and now we're just gonna give it a little massage to blend it all together. <laughs> I don't know why I necessarily have to do this with my fingers. I think it would have been fine with a spoon. But it all adds to the experience. Uh -huh. Place them with the flat side downwards and leave a little space for feta. Vincent said eating strawberries with balsamic vinegar is actually a very common combo. Just tastes like strawberry. Why is this feta so thick? Dinner's gonna be really good tonight, Vincent. Now you're gonna add some more olive oil onto the feta and some more pepper. I'm also gonna add a little bit of Italian herbs. Normally you would add some basil, but I don't have basil. Guys, do you wanna see my basil? I bought this frozen one, but it was brown. Is it normal that it's brown? I've never bought frozen basil. I don't trust this shit. I mean, obviously you would normally also have to add some fresh basil, which I do not have. So now we're just gonna add my Italian herbs. This is what I call recipe enhancement. And don't tell me that if this doesn't taste good, it's because I added the Italian herbs. Don't you even dare later on, okay? 
400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. See you in 45 minutes. Guys, there is a cat hair. Ooh, oopsie. It looks very desserty. Let's stir it. Love my stirrer. It just looks like strawberry pudding. Actually, it's turning very gray. Mm. Guys, do you think this is gonna be sweet or savory? Take your guess right now. It definitely sounds like a healthy pasta. I'm not gonna give Vincent too much because he already has diarrhea. I'm just trying to be transparent. Oh, I don't want pick it up. Hau rein, Bruder! Very acidy. <laughs> I think this is the best version of strawberry pasta I've ever had. It's not bad, but it's also not good. Yeah, you can really taste the strawberry. It's like a soft strawberry hint, but you kind of only get the acid of the strawberry. It lacks <laughs> another flavor. Basil? <laughs> Something really different. Mustard. Mm. <laughs> it just tastes like mustard now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What? Tahine. <laughs> it's already sour. Mmm. Needs to feel name. Interesting. Not my strawberry feta teriyaki noodles. <laughs> This did not pass the vibe check, but with teriyaki sauce, it did. Never ever make this recipe. Eee, there is a bit of Kiki's crack on the ground and I just stepped in it. Eee, it was soft and brown. It's making biscuits. <laughs> This has been a fun video because I don't think any TikTok video has been that successful. I mean, honestly, I think it's only successful because I bought a lot of the stuff instead of making it myself. <laughs> Everything I tried was so great. The freaking ramen from Ichiran. I literally could eat them again. I wish I could have just eaten them instead of the feta pasta. That was definitely the worst one, but the person who made this video, right, she said it was amazing and everybody who tried it, she made it and gave it to people. Everybody who tried it loves it. I don't think she was trolling because it wasn't gross, but it also wasn't good. But everything else would highly recommend. I mean, I don't think I will buy the instant hot pot again. It's just very chemically and very Unnecessary. I mean, I feel like it makes sense if you're like on the go. It doesn't make sense for at home. So that's it for this video. If you got nothing to do and you want to watch some more Naomi Johnster videos, <laughs> why not watch my last video? It's two hours long. You have a lot to watch. I will just clean up a little bit here. It looks a mess. There's crumbs, there's cracks, and there's chocolate on my toe. I might keep that chocolate for later. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram, Naomi John on TikTok, and Naomi John on Twitter. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's sexy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Have a great day. Have a great night. Bye.